Today's a new day here at Six Flags Great America in Gurney, Illinois. I'm not really expecting much, honestly, because I actually went on a week day. Yeah, I'm actually thinking a little smart around here. I actually going to Great America on a weekday because I figured less crowds the better, I say, to be continued. So, uh... Yeah, let's just start off our Grand America day by walking around the park, I guess. And by the way, they have some like a biggest sale of the year on August 24th. Okay, um, I already have a diamond membership already for a year, so I'm not doing that. And I think I made the right decision on going on a Great America on a weekday. Look at that. Look at that. Barely any wait time for almost all the rides. Look at that. Look at that. That's something you mostly don't see every day because usually the park is pretty freaking crowded almost every single day. But I thought smart. You see, the kids over at the Illinois area, Lake County, they are back in school at this time. So... I figured, might as well go to Great America on a weekday, see if it will affect anything. So far, things are looking pretty good so far. Barely any wait? I mean, okay, yeah, the lobster does have a bit of a line. I'm not even planning to ride that ride anyway, so, yeah. But, I wanted to test this out a little more further, which, by the way, first of all, the Mix It Up stage is still there next to that, and... What's this? Actual seating in the shade at the county fair food court? Is it my... No, it's not my birthday, but it should might as well be. So, to test out how light the crowd is, I'm gonna go on x Flight In the regular line, not the flash pass line. <laughs> because again, I wanna see if... Um, by the way, those trees are starting to become red, by the way. I don't know if you noticed. Uh, fall's coming! Hey, as I was trying to say, in order to test out how light the crowds are today, I want to see if it'll affect the line here at x because this is one of the lines that are going to get massive, so there's that, so, <laughs> yeah, so give me a moment, let me walk through the entire queue of x -Flight. That took a lot less time than I thought. It's true. It only took me around like 15 minutes to actually load up. Well, not actually loading up on the train, but you get what I'm trying to say. Anyways, Excite, still a fun ride. Let's get some food, shall we? Hey! Wow, it's some kind of miracle around here. Literally almost no line and all of the shady spots in this restaurant are clear. What is, is it my late birthday? What's going on? Oh well, might as well take advantage. And you bet your ass I took advantage because I got that sweet Korean corn dog because at this point, why not? Why the heck not? So anyways, after that corn, Korean corn dog, still better than the regular corn dog by the way, Time to go to battle for Metropolis, because 
let's face it, I even though I am not a fan of DC Comics at all, I love this ride. And advice for you guys, if you're gonna go this ride alone, do not take the normal line, all right? Do not take the normal line. Go to the single rider line to save you some time. And the cameras were not working, so yeah. But I'm to assure you, I did win. I won. Yeah, I won. I did it. I got the best score. Not my personal best, but definitely up there. And I know what you're thinking. Yes, as you can see, the Viva La Fiesta decorations are still up on a weekday. And at this point on like if I upload the video now, the Viva La Fiesta decorations are gonna be completely gone. So there's that. And uh, I saw so many paints the big Louis Italian paint store. Isn't it interesting seeing that uh a guy actually painting fresh paint? A uh, six flags? Alrighty then, there's that. And if you take a listen, the speakers are working. So So after discovering that, I also discovered Mardi Gras Hangover is in fact closed for the season. Which is sort of a bummer, because I actually did want to ride for once, so damn, there's that. But you know what else is closed for the season? Aquaman Splashdown. Yeah, since the fall season is starting to ramp up, all the water rides are down, including the Aquaman. And here's something interesting I found. On this camp, or whatever it's called, Dave and Buster's Wild Hot Tosa? Alrighty then, I honestly was not expecting to find Dave and Buster's here in all places, so yeah. Anyways, I... 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 Uh, well, about what I said about the last crowds, I guess I was wrong. That Batman the Ride had the longest line, so I have no choice on to get a flash pass for the Batman. And it didn't do me help either since it still took me a while to get there, so there's freaking that, I guess. But in all seriousness, however, Batman the Ride was still a phenomenal ride, honestly. I'll definitely go on this again and again if I have to. And I was gonna go inside the gaming house, but you need actual reservations for that, so I was pretty much unable to go inside of the gaming house unless if I reserve a spot. So uh, there's that. But guys, let me tell you, nothing, and I mean nothing, prepared me for what I had to go through next. Oh my god, newcomer! Mascot newcomer! Oh my god! Wow! Holy, wow! Wow! Mascot newcomer! Green M&M! Oh my god! Wow! What is happening here? Whoa! This is a little unusual. Green M&M. Wow! Okay. Um, I was not expecting this at all. Oh my gosh! I was just walking out of Batman the Ride all the way over there, and then this green M&M came out of nowhere. Green M&M. Wow! I was not expecting you! What is happening? I wonder if there's more M&M's coming out, or... I don't even know, at this point, I don't even know what the hell is going on, but... Um... New character, I guess! I literally have no idea what's happening right now. Oh, wow! What's happening here? What's this? M&M Sweet Tour? Wait, you mean there was an M&M Tour I never knew about? Uh... Um... Okay, um... Excuse me. Um... Okay! Alright! There was an M&M Tour I somehow never knew about. Okay! 
And there is a green M&M that just came right out of nowhere. Why over there still? I literally have no idea what's happening right now, but I love it. Um, I was honestly was not expecting to find an Eminem uh, mascot here. Like, actually, I was not expecting this. So, makes me wonder if there's gonna be any more. Like, uh, hold on. Makes me wonder about it if there's gonna be more Eminem characters coming out. Cause this is really unusual. <laughs> Our first new character since I believe, who knows when? Uh, is there even a cast member? Oh, the, oh, that's our cast member, okay. God, that zipper's so visible. So I just got confirmed the green M&M is gonna be in fact the only M&M coming out today. Um, okay, I was not expecting, uh, I was not expecting this at all. I was just here to have a good normal day. And uh, this is unusual, like actually unusual. And by the way, that's an inflatable suit, by the way. Pretty unusual for a Six Flags. So uh, I guess there's that. I, okay. So apparently the reason why they're doing this whole tour was well, because they're doing like a caramel cold brew flavored M&M, which is like caramel and coffee together. And he, he said, if I, uh, after I grab an M&M, I come up here to grab peanut butter, right? Oh, peanut butter m &M? Oh, thank you so much. And then I guess after that, uh, I get to make my own mixtape apparently. What is happening here? Oh, just two songs, he said. Oh, okay. That's fine. Tap yellow dots to select notes. Uh, okay. How do I do this? Uh, that. Drum. Ooh, okay. Alright. Okay, okay. So I just push all these, like, random buttons and turn into M&M's. All right. I am gonna be so bad at this. Uh, like that, last one. All right, save my track. Oh God, oh, I gotta take this. Save your track and sign up for, fine. I'll get some updates from M&M. Accept and save my track. My tasty track has been saved. I'll receive an email with a link to my track. Awesome. And the last thing for me to do is to do something here. With the only empty spot here in this whiteboard. Oh, I know what to do. Give me a few minutes. Oh, there's one in the back here too. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, I can give me a... I thought that was the stick. Oh my god, ow! Ow! Okay, oof. Let's try that again. Perfect! There you go. A little advertisement to all the people here at Six Flags to subscribe to moi. Now, you, some of you might be surprised I didn't do a Bear in the Big City advertisement. Oh, don't you worry. They are next. After a few good minutes of drawing, there you go. Up, oh, my two advertisements. One of them's not even on my channel. I right, got that out of the way. Um, can we just still take a moment to uh, realize this is M and M's. There is an entire M and M attraction here at Six Flags of all places. So, uh, I guess that's a thing. <laughs> wow. So here's a little backstory to this interesting M&M's experience I just randomly walked into. 
So apparently they're doing an Eminem tour that, that they've already done this already with other places in America and already a other, another Six Flags theme park, Six Flags Great Adventure. So this is absolutely actually kind of bonkers. The fact they've also stopped by our home park, Great America. So there's that. And by the time this video is already out, this Eminem's sweet tour thing, whatever the heck you want to call it, will be gone. So there's that. Anyways, after that interesting experience, let's just go uh, to the train, shall we? And I just there's a log. There's a log. And there's a Yosemite Sam statue just right there. Okay. I should probably mention this too. The Roadrunner statue that used to be here is no longer there. Yeah, so they completely removed it, but it is on that Wiley Coyote statue. I mean, not statue, the, uh, what's it called? Wiley Coyote float. But since the Neon Knights parade's no longer a thing, it's pretty much defunct. Well, at least we still have the Road Run and Wally Kelly statues in front of the park. And they did clear up this entire space here on the Hometown Spurs stage, which uh, surprisingly gets a good view of the park. But I've just realized something sort of semi-important while standing here. I'm part of a show! And speaking of shows, in Grand Music Hall, they're starting to prepare themselves for breakfast. Yeah, don't forget, Fright Fest will still happen this year, even though Holly in the Park gets pretty much dead now, so that's kind of sad. Anyways, that's why I triple play. That's why I triple play, because at this point, the blind is completely dead, so why the heck not at this point? It was still a really fun ride, and then I wanted to go back to County Fair so I could just do the Eminem thing again. And on my way back to the Eminem thing, I noticed something strange right here. So the Daredevil dive pretty much is completely gone. Well, it's still there, but it's on strike for 172 days. And there's a flash, like a hashtag, pick the disguise 2024. What is this gonna mean, ladies and gentlemen? Will we finally get a sky screamer here? If that would happen, I would actually freak out. But if people say it's a flat ride, people say it's a pendulum ride, but at this point, I'm not really sure. And for those who are wondering about the uh, Eminem Whites board, if they actually kept all the drawings, including my own drawings, with Sam Samantha's and Strawberry Shortcake, unfortunately, it was completely erased. Ah, uh, yeah, so they actually erased literally every single drawing, which is kind of sad. Green Eminem's still there, surprisingly. Well, to be fair, she didn't stay up the entire time. Of course, she had to go backstage and deflate because, yes, that is an inflatable costume. And you might be wondering to yourself, how come they actually got rid of the drawings and my own drawings in that matter? Well, it turns out that the Eminem suit tour was shutting down. Yeah, I saw them completely uh, closing it down. They're closing. So, uh, yeah, and at the time of this recording, they will be back in, like, one tomorrow at the time I was recording, but when this video actually is uploaded, this, uh, M&M's tour thing will be gone. So, uh, for those who aren't even there at all, I'll let you guys scan this QR code to see what's in store. Okay, now that you guys got the moment to scan that QR code, um... I don't know what to do at this point, actually, because Soon m and thing is done. Soon m and is probably walking back to backstage so she can actually deflate. So, yeah! With the m and Sweet Tour event thing, whatever you call it, officially comes to a close, that means Miss Green m and would... Honestly, I'm not sure. She's been actually sticking around for quite a while due to the massive crowd. Yeah, the crowd actually increased despite being a weekday. And there she goes. This might be my last time seeing her for quite a while. All right. So long, Green Eminem. This might be my last time seeing you for quite a 
I won't be here tomorrow. That's the problem. So, if that, so long, great Eminem. It's been unusual, let's to say the least. So long. They'll be back tomorrow. Unfortunately, I won't be here tomorrow. I'll be at home. So, guess that's that. I'm not sure if you guys realize this or not, but that was kind of an unusual character experience I've ever had at Six Flags. So, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna have the County Fair food court, but this time I'm gonna take it up a notch. Time to get the big, fat turkey leg. Guys, let me tell you, this turkey leg was absolutely massive. Like, actually, here's a hand next to the turkey hand uh, for comparison. Yeah, the turkey is much larger. My God. It was really good, by the way. Really tender, really good. And get a lot of this ab. Look at this ab. Just look at it. Don't look away. Don't skip it. Look at it. All I got to say is, great ad. Okay, on to Columbia Carousel. <laughs> okay, yeah, so yeah, I'm actually ending my day off a little early. I mean, of course, Great America is closing much earlier than like 9 or 10. Now they're going to close at 7. So might as well end my day here with, of course, the legend, Columbia Carousel. And I just need a debrief of what I witnessed throughout the day. Low crowds. Egg to the Skies 2024 hashtag, which could mean we're gonna get a new ride. Uh, M&M's, of all things, a, a tour. Green m and uh, I, I really don't know what to do at this point. So, uh, yeah, it was kind of unusual, honestly. And uh, there's that. So after a really long and, like I said, unusual day here at Great America, it's time to get out of the park. And hold on, they have another take the biggest sale of the year. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys scan the QR code real quick. Hold on, how did you guys got that chance to scan the QR code for the biggest sale of the year? Apparently, um, let's just head out of the park, all right. And for those who might be asking, yes, I will be returning for Six Flags Fright Fest because obviously. It's such a yearly tradition that is literally a not miss. Except if you're 2020, of course. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of a really unusual day, honestly. I know I keep saying that, but you guys gotta understand. When you think Six Flags costume characters, you think Looney Tunes, not Green M&M's. And when I come back to Six Flags, there better be Looney Tunes this time, because I didn't even see a single one. 